welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here um for those who don't know me my name is maya i'm a fourth semester nursing student here in florida and i'm just making this video to give you guys some of my absolute best study tips that i would give to anybody as a fourth semester nursing student i have racked up some knowledge over the past year and i just wanted to share this with you guys to anybody who is struggling in nursing school and not just nursing school pretty much any major that you're in in college i'm pretty sure these tips can be useful to you and so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like leave a comment i really it makes me so happy when i get a comment um so thank you again in advance and so let's get into the video um my number one absolute most important tip is just lecture you have to learn how to get the most out of your class lectures you guys like sometimes i know that we don't like our instructors sometimes we just don't like the course that we're doing and so lectures are just so boring and just not fun at all but still you just gotta learn to push through it you gotta learn how to get the most out of it and one of the ways i do that is doing lecture recordings so i like to record the lecture especially if i feel like you know i'm tired and i'm probably not going to be able to concentrate too much i like to record the lecture and then I go home and I listen to it at my own pace and in my a couple of semesters ago we our lectures were four hours long now I cannot sit through four hours of lecture like one hour is my maximum that's that's my wheat end and so um, I like to record lecture and then when I go home I would listen to I would break it up in like four hours so I would listen maybe in the morning I'll listen to an hour in the evening another hour and just break it up throughout the day so that i don't feel as overwhelmed and i'm just able to concentrate more and get the most out of it and then there is also when it comes to lecture they like to do textbook assign they like assign you textbook readings and so they would assign you like seven eight chapters for just one lecture and they tell you to read all of them and i'm like no no, I don't want to do that and I'm not going to do that. And honestly, I don't think you need to do that. Now, some instructors are pretty petty and they will intentionally get, you know, add some questions that you would not know if you didn't read the textbook. But for the most part, instructors usually get questions from the PowerPoint. Now, do I like completely abandon the textbook and just never look at it and throw it to the sidewalk? <laughs> no. I still like to go through my textbook. I go through page by page and then I just kind of look at, you know, the highlighted words. I read on those words and then I look at the tables, the charts, the boxes and the pictures. Usually those tables and charts, they kind of summarize what, you know, the passages are talking about anyway. And so I still find that pretty helpful. And especially if it's one of those books that kind of gives examples of things for a concept that your instructor explained some books will like give exam specific examples those are usually pretty helpful so i would encourage you to do that and you honestly do not need to like go through word by word in the textbook just saying and so i'm just going to be looking down here because i have my ipad down here and so number two my second tip is concept maps and comparison charts now i like to make this myself because i went through like pinterest and just google i couldn't find like a concept map that was suiting my particular needs and so i made one for myself and i'm gonna try to like link it somewhere so that you guys can get it too or you can just look at it and make it yourself it's pretty easy now a concept map this is basically just a chart that you make um I like to use concept maps for disease processes that are very complex so that you know i'm able to get all the different parts and i just put them on one page and i'm able to like see the big picture of what's going on now I, you can either use them like before lecture if you want to like prepare for a lecture so you fill out the concept map after going through your powerpoint and then just so that you know the general idea of a disease process so by the time lecture comes you kind of know what to expect and you also know what questions to ask and so that's a really good idea and you can also use them when you're studying for your exam and you know you feel like if you want to test how well you've retained the information you go through a concept map and you try to fill it out without looking at the powerpoint and then you know just do like a brain dump on the concept map and you know go to your powerpoints and see what you missed 
fill out what you missed in like a different color or you know just highlight it and so that next time you can see and focus on those points that you missed so concept maps absolutely great ideas and then there's also comparison charts i like to use comparison charts if it's we are learning about disease processes that are that are very similar or like you know they have similar pathophysiologies or similar signs and symptoms or just you know they belong to the same like body organ i'm going to use a comparison chart um you know just so that i don't get them confused i can see them side by side and i can clearly see what are the differences and then i highlight those differences or i can highlight the similarities and it's just, it's just very helpful when you do it that way and so number three is practice questions in nursing school you have to do practice questions especially if you're in your first semester you don't know what kind of questions these are you're still getting used to them you have to do practice questions and finding a really good source is just it's an important thing to do and so now right now in my fourth semester i honestly can kind of get away with not doing practice questions just because i'm more familiar with nclex style questions uh, if you don't know what nclex style questions are so the nclex this is the board exam that every single nurse in the united states states has to take when they're done with nursing school they have to take this exam in order to be registered because when you're done with nursing school you are still not a registered nurse you're just a person who has a degree in nursing until you take this exam that's when you'll be able to work as a nurse so nursing school questions are very tailored to suit those kind of questions that are on that huge exam that's why we call them and click style questions so it's a very specific style of questions that you need to get familiar with no matter how smart you are you need to do these practice questions for you to get used to them with time and it happens over time and so some of my favorite resources right now my school is like affiliated with the company ati and so you know we have access we purchased access in the beginning of the program um we purchased access to their whole website and so you know it's a really good resource in the beginning i didn't like it because they made us purchase that really expensive book bundle <laughs> but now it's my go-to resource they have a huge quiz bank they have uh, like standard exams that you can take you know if you're preparing for your final exam you can take the standard exams and then they have adaptive quizzing especially for med surge they have like a huge quiz big quiz banks for like each um, body system which is very very helpful and yeah just check it out check it out i think i talked about it in my first video about the t the tits i talked about it a little bit um but even in nursing school you can still use this website it's just a really great resource highly recommend and then my other um, source of practice questions is this book here this is the davis um q a success series they have a ton for every single course in nursing school they have they have one for it so this is for med surge um and i really they have so so many questions in this book it's crazy and so i don't use it as much anymore because i just prefer ati right now but if you know you looking for a certain topic and you don't find it in ati this can be like your second go-to resource i also really like it um so yeah and then i also like simple nursing they have an app um and they ha also have a really huge quiz bank that i really really like and their rationales are just so really good and so also check it out but it's not free you are you have to pay for the app you have to subscribe to it and then there's also um nurse labs nurse labs is a completely free website where they have a bunch of resources for nurses and you know they have um practice questions they're not as many um just a small number of practice questions but they're still pretty helpful and you guys check it out you know they have care plans they have just notes and a whole lot of stuff it's so it's nurse labs check it out and yeah that's it for practice questions um and then my fourth tip is youtube videos <laughs> in nursing school we use youtube videos so much it's crazy um and so my number one absolute favorite youtube channel is level up rn especially right now in maternal child is when i'm using it a lot um this is obps that's the course i mean right now like this is when I've, I've been using it so much um i love their pediatric 
um, playlist and so and the videos what i like about them is that they're very short and summarized and also they are very in line with my school's kind of like course objectives so there's a lot of stuff that are similar like um you know maybe the wording of things and that's something also that you have to keep in mind when you're looking for youtube resources because um site some resources they're gonna you know some of them go in like a lot of detail and um maybe your nursing school does not require you to know that much and just you know have like a general idea of things and so you don't want to waste your time getting all of this information that you don't really need for your practice for your um unit exams so that's what i love about level upper and it's very to the point um and very in line with my school's um kind of like curriculum um and so you check it out and then there's also registered nurse rn is my second go-to and registered nurse rn i don't use it as much because the videos are longer but this is like every nursing student's favorite youtube channel and um i'm sarah that's the <laughs> the lady who teaches um she's really good and she doesn't just make videos about you know like um coursework stuff she also makes video just about life in nursing you know she talks about maybe nursing salaries she talks about you know what clinicals are like which is awesome i watched her a lot where before i came into the program and i was just trying to prepare and get you know just i was just looking for someone to <laughs> listen to who's been to nursing school and just their experience with everything so really check it out and then there's also simple nursing i uh, I mentioned it when talking about practice questions but they also do have a youtube channel and you know i also really like it a lot so go check it out um i'm forgetting one oh peak morning peak morning in the beginning i just used to watch the youtube channel but i loved it so much that i subscribed to the app so peak morning is so fun they animate everything so especially for pathophysiologists if you're having trouble understanding you know like the path of something peak morning is awesome because it makes things like animated so it's like a cartoon and so you get to see these little painkillers in action and just exactly how they work and just you know it's it's amazing it's awesome so you guys check it out uh, you can check out their youtube channel first and then if you like it maybe you can consider subscribing to the app then and so yeah amazing amazing resource so those are my four number one tips on how to study and then lastly i just want to give you guys a few a few tips to help you minimize the general stress in nursing school especially in the beginning like in my first semester i had three classes i had foundations which is a pretty heavy heavy course i had nursing skills which has it's a lot of skills check off so you're constantly studying for it we had skills like every single week or every other week and then i also had health assessment and so it was a very jam-packed semester and if yours is like that too then i'm not sure there's anything you can do about that kind of stress but I just want to encourage you it has definitely gotten easier for me over time i'm not as stressed as i used to be in like my first and second semester um it's just it gets better uh, and so one thing that you can do to reduce your stress is just to be prepared do not procrastinate i highly advise you when you have a little bit of downtime do an assignment that's due maybe two weeks later that's due like way in the future believe me your future you will thank you and i know it's kind of a pain you know doing coursework ahead of time but it just helps tremendously and also i just want to encourage you do not cram when you're studying for an exam don't do that thing where you know you only start studying like you know a few days before or maybe you can start studying a week before but like don't let it be like a week before your exam that's when you're starting to dig around your notes you're starting to be like oh my god where's this where's this you're starting to listen to lecture recordings that's what i used to do and that would that was overwhelming now right now i try to start studying as soon as i come back from lecture like the next day i'm going through the powerpoint you know i'm re-watching the lecture recordings i'm writing more notes I just try to make sure that I have a really good grasp of this week's information before I'm introduced to next week's new information. That helps tremendously. Don't let your schoolwork pile up. Don't let it be like that. Um, try to do 
you know instead of studying like eight ten hours a day a few days before your exam try to do like an hour a day three weeks before your exam two weeks before your exam but i do understand also that there are some people who have exams every week and that's such a tough situation to be in but if you have your exams are a little bit more spread out like every two weeks or three weeks or a month you know just try to keep the momentum up don't don't like you know stop studying completely at some point and then towards exams you study too much it just it makes you so stressful and i don't i don't encourage that and also one more thing to reduce your stress is reward yourself you know don't force yourself to study if you feel tired take a break change the scenery you know i like to reward myself with little meals so i'm gonna say okay if i go to the library and i complete you know these like i write i make for myself certain tasks so if i complete them i'm gonna go and give myself like a really nice meal i'm gonna eat something nice and that's how i like to reward myself or when i'm at home i just say okay if i manage to like finish this topic i'm gonna watch you know an episode an episode of like my favorite show that i'm watching at the time and you know or i'm gonna take a nap or just kind of make it don't make it stressful for yourself make it simple make it fun don't make it like a very hard process because your mind your mind feels the stress so you know just try to make it fun don't relate studying with being punished or studying with being deprived of what you love to do you know just try to find the balance of doing what you love to do and studying and you know don't be stressed out don't make yourself feel don't make yourself feel stressed out and so yeah if you guys have that's it for today if you guys have any suggestions for videos if you have more questions please leave a comment down below and i will be happy to address them and also don't forget again to subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up if you liked this video please leave a comment i love it when I, when you guys comment and yeah i will see you guys in my next video um peace Thank you.